Morning everyone, Dr. Eric, your fitness physician and peptide doc. I'm continuing on my series on fat loss peptides. Another cool one that we probably heard about recently is another nice one. It's called 5-amino-1-MQ. Finding all kinds of applications with this. Basically, uh, it's involved with the, what's called the NNMT uh, inhibitor is what it does. So NNMT is a, an enzyme in the cytosol, which is like the, the fluid part of the cell. This is the wall and then the fluids in there, the nucleus is inside where all your DNA is made. So it's involved with the um, basically modulating uh, homeostasis in the cell by controlling what's what's called uh, SAME or SAME, which is involved in many uh, intracellular processes and as well as involved in the NAD salvage pathway. NAD, is we've probably heard a lot about that as well. It's massively important in the cell to help cellular processes coming along, helps activate mitochondria, activates another enzyme called PDC1-alpha, which helps your body, and, again, work more efficiently, use fuel more efficiently, increase the production of mitochondria, and increases what's called the CERT enzyme, CERT genes. Some people probably heard about these SIRT genes, which are involved with longevity, with mitochondrial health and cellular health. So NMT is this enzyme, basically has a role in modulating the, the production of these, and, the, and the basically your body's always breaking things down and building them back up. So there's pathways involved to keep these things humming along. So NMT is found as upregulated white adipose tissue, white fat, the bad fat, especially in those with insulin, re insulin resistance. So um, these correlate very nicely with, uh, with uh, obesity as well, especially in diet-induced obesity. So basically, um, it inhibits this enzyme called NNMT, which then helps your body create more of NAD, uh, as well as more of the SAM, or the SAMI, as we call it, which is, again, has other, other applications as well we'll get into later, but involved with the overall my metabolism, cellular health, uh, antioxidant pathways, and things of this nature. So uh, the NAMP, NAMPT salvage pathway, again, we're increasing the NAD, which is what we want. So finding out it works uh, just the same, we're actually better than just taking those NAD supplements, but basically um, when NAD gets low, um, that's not a good thing, and then your cellular pathways are not humming along. So you have a, when they're low, you can actually have an increase in the inflammatory cytokines like IL-6 and TNF-alpha. <coughs> and um, again, by increasing this, we're going to increase those third enzymes, we increase PDC1-alpha, which is then going to make your mitochondria work better, which is going to make your cell work better. You're going to utilize fat more efficiently, you're going to have more energy. It's going to help your basically your cellular metabolism work more efficiently. Also, when NAD levels are low, you have decreased adiponectin, increased free fatty acid production, and increased insulin resistance. Obviously, these are all bad things. So again, by doing this, we're increasing AD, we're increasing uh, SAMI. Uh, so it's, uh, it's a rudimentary drawing here, but basically, this is the pathways here. So your, your body's always taking NAD uh, and NA and kind of removing that around in a circle. So this NNMT, uh, this is what happens uh, with when we, the 5-amino-1-MQ inhibits this. So basically, recycles this NAD so we can have higher levels of NAD, higher levels of SAME here which is recycled here. It goes through this pathway called the polyamine flux. And basically what this is going to do by increasing this NAD and this polyamine flux, you're going to have increased energy metabolism and decreased white adipose tissue. And what they found is by inhibiting this NNMT enzyme, uh, in humans and, and rats especially, was the initial studies in rats, was that they, even those on a high fat diet, were not getting obese. It prevented diet induced obesity by inhibiting this enzyme again because of these pathways here. So in humans, same thing. It's, it's noted that it helps increase energy metabolism, helps, helps increase energy, increase, decrease fat. So the whole point of this is that decreases fat help, helps with fat loss in general, also helps with energy metabolism as we're finding out a lot of people are having benefits in terms of exercise performance, actually promoting uh, healing uh, muscle tissue and other tissues as well. So we're finding it's also healing. Uh, healing properties and increase in performance and some people are even no noticed increased uh, hypertrophy increased muscle mass so it's a it's kind of like the holy grail and again more studies will prove this out but the biggest thing is increased fat loss and in prevention of diet induced obesity increasing those cellular pathway pathways but a lot of people are having improvements in in healing um, as well as uh, performance and uh, muscle growth all the things that we want right we want more muscle less fat better performance better cellular health that's what we're about here at primax improving cellular health, nutrition, and fitness. So very cool uh, molecule that we're uh, getting more and more experience with uh, using it um, as we speak, as are many of my colleagues. So uh, this is another very cool one. So if you have any questions about this, reach out. Lost peptides, and everyone have a great day. Thanks.